Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today we're going to make a Bluetooth speaker. Check. Today's video is brought to you by Rockler. So today we are going to make some Bluetooth speakers. There's a lot of science and knowledge and technology that goes into making the enclosures for speakers. Today we're going to ignore all of that. I find with myself a lot of times in, in certain things that takes years and lots of knowledge to make like knives and speakers, uh, playing music. Sometimes we create these barriers because we think we have to learn all of this stuff before we can do what we want to do. And today we're just going to throw all of that science and technology and knowledge right out the door and just have some fun and make some enclosures. Recently I watched a class by Tom Morello on teaching guitar and the first 40 50 minutes of that class, there was no technical knowledge, no skill, no notes, no nothing, just making noise and just having fun with the instrument. And it just removed this barrier, it just allowed you to just dive in and have some fun. And that's what we're gonna do today with this. We're just gonna have some fun and not worry about the size of the enclosure, the, the batting that needs to go in the inside. We're just gonna make something that I think looks cool. I've been kind of stressing out about the design of this and I've been drawing things up and I I haven't liked everything that I've done and I'm removing that barrier as well. I don't have really any clue on what I'm going to do. We're just gonna, we're gonna tinker, we're gonna wing it. So I'm just gonna make the enclosure and then I'm gonna figure out how to decorate it. It's, it's about tinkering. I want you guys to just remove the barriers, dive in and make stuff. That's why we're here. Rockler is going to help us out with that. They sent me some of these Bluetooth speaker kits and it's already wired up. You don't need to do anything. And it's really, really cool. You just have to drill or cut the holes for the speakers and for the electronics here. You are probably not gonna use these speakers to listen to the latest Bon Jovi record and hear the clarity of the cowbell and track three. This is not what these speakers is about. This is about just having some music on in the background in the shop or listening to an audiobook or podcast. It's about having fun. So I did go around and play with these and you can hear the difference when you move these from the bench to inside a box to other materials. Materials. Check this out. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear this or not. I have a microphone underneath my shirt, but it sounds a certain way when you hold them or when I put them against the bench, it's a little bit more bassy. Over here, this is hollow and it kind of amplifies it a little bit. And that like totally changes the sound. The point of that is there is science and knowledge and technology that goes into making the enclosures and we need to appreciate the people who have studied this and that teach us this we're going to do that in another video today we're just going to have fun so the instructions that come with these rockler speakers does give you a starting point for the enclosure that you want to make for them we're just going to have fun we're just going to have fun we're going to listen to audiobooks on this i'm not worried about sound here's another thing dan camera dan he's one of those audiophiles. He's been building speakers for a long time and I know this project is just going to just eat away at his soul. I'm sorry, Dan. Silence and motionless. <laughs> I have this piece of half inch plywood and so I need a tape measure. I know we're trying to ignore uh, all the technical stuff and just have fun, but Dan says you don't want to put two stereo speakers in the same box without some sort of separation. Thanks, Dan. So I'm going to cut a little 1 8 inch kerf in there so I can put a piece of 1 8 inch plywood. That way those sound waves don't interfere with each other and you get some crazy phase cancellation. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just having fun. So now that we have that little divider, it's just 1 8 inch plywood that fits in the groove there. And we got our two end pieces. Before we connect all this together, uh, I need to drill the holes for the speakers. Of 
friction fit in there. I'll have to drill a hole in this divider to get this through. We'll have these wires come and connect to this in the back. Clamp is just temporary until we get the screws in there. So then once we get all the screws in, we can take the clamp off. This is probably way too many screws, but woodworkers love overkill. So we, we got it in there, tested it out. I think I want to veneer this with walnut. And I'm wondering if walnut would look good with like some of this white grill cloth on the front. You can get veneer from Rockler. This is a variety pack that I've had for a long time. And if you just get plain wood veneer, plain on both sides, there's a couple ways you can attach it. You can use some contact cement, brush it on this, brush it on the veneer, let it tack up for a little bit, instant bond, and it works great. I don't like using contact cement because it smells for a long time and it's a really strong odor. You can also, this is a trick that I learned recently, is using wood glue. Put wood glue on the surface of this, put wood glue on the surface of this, let it dry, and then you can iron that on, and that trick works really well. Dan made these speaker enclosures here using that iron-on, just regular wood glue trick, and that came out really, really good. I am going to do something different. I wanna get fancy with it, I wanna have fun, so I am going to cut up some veneers on the laser cutter. Of course. Of course you don't need a laser cutter for this. You could just take veneer and cut it and glue it on there. But I want to have some fun. <laughs> so this particular veneer, it's already pre-finished and has a sticky back, which is just going to make life a lot easier. I think that'll that'll work. And then this has this uh that is definitely cheating. You know, cutting it on the laser, it's pretty finished. I don't have to do all that. Um but yeah, you do what you gotta do to get by in life, right? Cheat, lie, and steal is what grandma always said. <laughs> do t-shirt idea. Cheat, lie, and steal. Make something. I mean, I guess we could be done, but why not get a little fancy with it and do a little, a little grill thing, a little, if you know what I'm saying, do you know what I'm saying? A little, Dan knows what I'm saying. Jerry, Jerry knows what I'm saying. What's up, Jerry? So since we're basically making a picture frame, I'm using my picture frame sled. I've got a video on this guy, of course. Of course I've got a video on this guy. For this frame, I got some glue on the corners. And we're gonna do, we're gonna make this real simple. I'm just gonna stretch some tape over that. And if you stretch the tape, it'll try to pull it close a little bit. I mean, it's not, this is just an easier way than clamps and, and jigs. I mean, I wish I had a small jig for picture frames. It's been on the list of things to make for a long time. He just said it's easier than a jig. And then he just said he wanted to make a jig. And then he used his baby voice. And then I unsubscribed. So this is my spline making jig, which cuts a little spline slot. I've got a video on this as well. Of course I do. Of 
course I've got a video on there. So now we're just going to cut some maple to fill in those splines and that's going to strengthen up those corners. I did already have some thin maple laying around from the last time I had to cut splines. So that saved me time, it saved you time because you didn't have to watch me cut it and plane it and sand it and get it, you know, we're busy. We all got stuff to do. It feels like a crime to spray lacquer on walnut. At first I was gonna go with the white and I think I'm changing my mind and we are going with this, this gold here. Uh, I, think, I think it really helps with, it's, and you probably can't see on camera, but the, the lacquer on the maple here doesn't look very good. It's very, very yellow, but I do think the gold helps that a little bit more and I can, I can live with that color of that maple. That T-Track that we installed in the bench, that Rockler T-Track, it's, look, just like we're at Joanne Fabrics. Tape this to the bench. One of the reasons we're taping it to the bench is so we can stretch it and then also get the lines in a parallel perpendicular orientation. I actually don't know if this is going to work. This is uh, this is an experiment. This is rule four in effect. And then the mating piece of Velcro on here. One of the problems that I ran into, and this is one of the things that happens when you design on the fly, is I didn't like the, the gap that I'm getting here between the front grill and the speaker enclosure because these speakers stick out a little bit. And when this Velcro is on there, there's this huge, huge gap. And so I've been kind of brainstorming, what can I do? Maybe I should put another piece of wood to cover up this mess back here. So this is a piece of white acrylic that I cut out and that's going to get glued on there. And then this can then Velcro and it helps fill the gap and uh, makes for a nice little, uh, if you know what I'm saying. What's up Jerry? So then now that gives me enough clearance to put that on there and I don't get that stupid huge gap that I did not like. To finish this up, I did add some rubber feet to the bottom that gives it some separation from the surface so you don't get some weird bass frequencies going on there. I did go ahead and then cut my logo on the laser, did a two layer thing and then glued that on the front. I hated the finish of the pre-finished veneer that I used so I sanded that all down and then I re-oiled everything that made me feel a lot better about it and I still did not like the gap I was getting from the front to the back. So I did go ahead and hot glue the front on. If I need to get it off, I can pry it apart, but I just feel better about it now. Today, we were just having fun. We were throwing science out the door so we could just experiment and tinker, and that was the point of this video. And I did add a handle, and I have these from an old guitar amp. I didn't have a strap, so I went to the Goodwill and I found a belt that just fit in there perfect. And now I have a cool little handle. It sounds really good for a tiny speaker. I, I would happily listen to tunes here in the shop. I haven't figured out where this is going to live yet. We need a Bluetooth speaker on the porch. The tinkering led to this. And at the end, I was really not feeling the project. Just the, the finish on there, and I don't know, I wasn't happy with the design. And then once I added the logo, I sanded off that old finish and put a new finish on there and added the handle and glued on this face. I felt so much better about it. If you're wondering if it's bothering me that the logo on the front is not perfectly center, more than you will ever know or understand. These speaker kits come from our friends at Rockler. This is the stereo kit that I use for the speaker. You can also get a single speaker kit for audiobooks or podcasts, and that is also from Rockler. Or you can get creative and turn it into some sort of like communication device from room to room or whatever. I love these because it allows you to get creative and do whatever you want. It allows you to tinker. It allows you to dive in and get into something Something without worrying about the technology and the wiring up and, and it was just a really cool fun project. I'll have links to all the tools and the supplies that I used in the video. Most of that can be found at rockler.com. Link down below. Thank you Rockler for sponsoring today's video.
Before we go, I did add some new things to the store this week, including this fraction to decimal to millimeter conversion charts, as well as some new t-shirts, coffee mugs, and as always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.